These are fighters with the Syrian Democratic Forces. They're heading to the front lines in northern Raqqa. The city that the Islamic State claimed as its capital is only kilometers away. The Arab and Kurdish militias know that the worst is yet to come as they set to face the IS fighters that have had months to prepare. We've been fighting IS jihadists for the last few days. We chased them for 300 kilometers. Now we're entering the city of Raqqa. There are roughly a thousand of us on the northern front. The Raqqa offensive is being led on three fronts, from the west, the north and the east, where U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic forces first entered the Al-Mishlab district on Tuesday. Coalition forces have also recaptured key sites west of Raqqa, but their advance has slowed due to IS landmines planted throughout the area. With special ground forces and airstrikes from the U.S.-led coalition, the shelling has been intense since the campaign began. This will be a difficult and very long-term battle, and we're prepared for that. They have already lost a part of Raqqa, and the Raqqa campaign from here will only accelerate. The fighting is set to intensify, cause to worry for humanitarian aid groups. The U.N. has estimated that 100,000 civilians could be trapped in the fighting. Tentative advances on the Islamic State group's Iraqi stronghold of Mosul have been slowed out of fears for civilian safety. The militants' remaining territory has shrunk to three districts along the western bank of the Tigris River, including the densely populated Old Town. The offensive began in October but has taken much longer than expected as Islamic State fighters are positioning themselves amongst civilians.